Well, nothing quite says springtime like the arrival of baby farm animals. And this weekend, One Farm in April mm. Park is hosting a free event for the community to meet their newest bundles of joy. Uh, Cassie Hudson and meteorologist Jill <laughs> Swed teamed up to take a trip to 4J's farm here. Take a look. <coughs> they're cute, they're furry, and they're a sure sign that spring has sprung. Baby animals! We're here today at 4J's farm in April Park to meet their oh-so-cute brand new arrivals. <laughs> Tucked away on Four High Meadow Road in Averill Park, you'll find a farm full of personality. This is 4J's farm. And this right here is why we do what we do. <laughs> Owner Jody Passanello started their farm family in 2013 with just a couple goats. Over time, adding to their starting lineup. We have the two dogs. We have about 15 goats, the five sheep, pop -belly pigs, turkeys, chickens, ducks. Rabbits. Say hi. The animals have always been her therapy. The love that you give them, they give back to you. Therapy she loves sharing with anyone she can. Hi, baby bunny. Oh my goodness. Look at, that. Look at them. They're teeny weeny. <laughs> Don't you? At 4J's, there's always an extra air of excitement in the spring. Babies. <laughs> babies. Babies, babies, babies. The welcoming of new life baby animals are a rite of passage this time of the year. Fulfilling a childhood dream, Passanello operates a traveling pet zoo. But when the pandemic put a pause on the business, she decided to find another way to share her beloved animals with others. Well, I said to my husband, well, how do you feel about opening up the farm to the public and letting people come here to experience the animals? You know, people need happiness and they need fun and laughter and joy after being cooped up for so long with COVID. So we did. And it was a success. Hundreds attending the event last year getting to feed, pet and hold the animals. Your favorite. <laughs> favorite little hi, hi, hi. The positive response prompting the family to make baby animals on the farm day an annual tradition each spring. Don't run away. Say hi. Say hi. Kisses. The second annual Baby Animal Day at the farm is set to take place a Saturday, April 9th, and I'm even told the Easter Bunny may be making an appearance. Oh, you don't want to miss that, but if you can't make it on the day, you can always book a private farm visit. We've got details on that and the upcoming event on our website, news10.com. Reporting in April Park, I'm Cassie Hudson. And I'm Jill Sled. News 10, 10 ABC. Oh, so much cute Baby goats. there. Private events. Yeah, you know, you absolutely. You can see that for birthday parties. That's great. That's going to be popular, that's for sure.